gentlemen, I am live here at Corruption, episode 25. I am, I am the ruler of all, I am the ruler of all, Jihad Sullivan, joined us alongside by Loco, Danny Lanza. What's going on, people? Are you ready for a one wild ride tonight? Because we all know that Corruption is locked and ready to go. We just had a wonderful, crazy psychotic circus of a pay-per-view and I know corruption did not go off as it should have but it will be we have a we have a new champion psycho clown the new never open weight strong champion right so not scheduled to be here tonight but we yeah we can uh, uh, give our our, our 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 good people the night off when they need it Yep. Picking up momentum from Circus Maximus. If you didn't see it, you should go back and watch it. Great show. New World Heavyweight Champion, Jack Crisp. Congratulations. Uh -huh. Stay golden. New. And we have a Mount Vesuvius Rumble winner, the Savage King. Damn, the Savage Army did something last night, too? Yeah, Ricky Mass is not very happy about that. I wouldn't be either. He could have been part of that greatness. But we're going to start the show. The intro. Turn the door. Don't pull the cord. Here we go, the ladies only, and gentlemen. We're about to get crazy. Baby. The only show on Monday you actually want to tune in and watch. I don't know. I like the New Japan free match. Right? Other than that, I think the only show that you can tune in and watch is probably Loco and Ben. That too. Phoenix, Arizona. Yeah, we're in Phoenix. I know a few good people in Phoenix. Up next, we have women's action as the new number one contender. Miss Fear will be taking on Manami Toyota, the former champion. Manami Toyota still has a rematch clause on that women's title. Well, actually, no, I'm wrong. Or am I? What's up? Manami Toyota is still the women's champion. All right. We actually didn't see any major title changes except the world title. Who are you going to give this match to? This is a momentum builder for the number one contender versus the champion. Well, I, I have to favor Miss Fierce because uh, she is a, a force not to be reckoned with. Miss Fierce is hard to beat, but the one woman that can. D&D defeated her last night, defeated Manami, or was defeated by Manami at the pay-per-view. But now it's Miss Fierce's turn. Right? This woman has an aura, like kind of like the Undertaker. I mean, it, it's not that forced, chilling vibe, but it's that you get this chill up your spine because this woman is brutal once that bell rings. Right? Miss Fear, not very liked by the fans, not very liked in the locker room. 
a lot of people here in FMW do not want to see this woman get that women's title back because of her undomitable force as champion. Miss Fear, the veteran, one of the veterans of this women's division. Still your Phoenix Queen Champion, Manami Toyota. This is not for the title either. Well, for right now, it's only a good old grudge match. And only corruption can do that for you. Not even a grudge match, it's just Miss Fear will be facing this woman. And this fear opted to go one-on-one -on -one tonight. Miss fear not letting this woman get a break. Fear. Danny, you might have to commentate more on the move because this game won't let this game up the screen behind me by ten by, behind ahead of y'all by ten seconds. Fear was gonna if if Manami's gonna beat Miss Fear, she's gonna have to keep that pressure up like she's doing. Manami's doing a, a good job of keeping off the pressure. But they're doing a good job and they just I honestly think Manami Toyota can do it. She's one of the great, she is one of the, if not the greatest woman competitor of all time. Right? That choke slam coming. You saw that was only a two account. Here comes the fear driver. what she did with that title belt. Now we see how vicious this bears can be. But don't 
underestimate the champion. Don't just slow down just because you think you have it in the bag. Look at that strength that this one has. That woman is a physical monster. Minami keeping that, you know to notice Minami able to keep fighting even though Miss Fear is reversing everything, or Minami is, even though Miss Fear is constantly throwing that shade. Right. Yes. I think a lot of it is she's just that good. Miss Fear finally 
goes for that chair. Absolutely, and uh oh, fear driver. That should be a quick breather. Referee just noticed the chair that Miss Fear hit Manami with about eight times. Yeah, I, I didn't think the fear driver was necessary. Eight consecutive chair shots. Mana Man she could not put Manami away. Or could she? In her mind, she put her away, and then she added eight for the inside. I think Miss Fear got frustrated and just lost it. Got rid of the ref. Wait a minute. What what are you doing, Miss Fear? Right? What is she doing? She's wedging that chair around Minami's neck. Uh-oh. Move salt onto the neck! Miss Fear is trying to injure this woman. Look at this. This is the statement here. Fear driver! That's a message for you. Statement has been said and meant. Miss Fierce is nothing to be messed with. And because that match actually took a bit, I'm actually going to skip this match. Go. Somebody got their wish tonight. As soon as I can get off this loading screen. And the entrance. Uh -huh. But it will lead up some more time, so I don't care. Yep. We do have the, uh, this will be a dark match. I'll let them do their entrances and then I'll skip. That's fine. Actually, now nah, I won't. Nobody cares about either one of them. <laughs> Honestly, dude, today is going to be quick and simple. Unlike the taxes. I mean, what? I mean, this match is more or less just for one of these tag teams to build some momentum because they haven't been used. We really don't want to spend a lot of time on this match because I know a lot of our viewers aren't going to care. Right? Uh, it's like look at Emi's Pornhub playlist. A lot of sausages and a lot of wieners. You know, but that's the thing, man. You know, it's it's the it's it's a legend versus a team that's pro probably one of the going to go down as one of the greatest of all times. Right.
I just want to quit the match to see who wins. That's all. Instead of just hitting next match. Well, there you go. Matt Jackson defeated Typhoon. Alright. And up next, we have an Extreme Rules Triple Threat match. Earlier today, three people were pointing fingers backstage. Some things happened. And now we've got this match. Well, <laughs> I mean, my driver crazy has not stopped talking about this match. I honestly have to say, this is three of the top guys on this brand. Unfortunately, all three of them were victims of Leviathan. Can it really be a victim when you enjoy the pain? What's that? Can you really consider them a victim when they enjoy the pain? I mean, I consider him a victim because he tossed them all over the top rope. Well, actually, I take that back. Nighthawk was actually one half of the ones that eliminated Leviathan, finally. Right. He failed to capture the Savage King's TV title. <clears throat> Nighthawk was the one voted to face the Savage King, and he failed. Right. He got rid of the biggest threat in the Rumble. But then him and Boss Rutan were consecutively taken out by Psycho Clown. Yeah. Tonight, the man who stands tall, who put in the most work for Monday nights, Nighthawk. Right? Crazy D just here because he likes tormenting this man. I don't understand why, but he likes making this man's life a living hell. And no matter how much Nighthawk puts Crazy D down, since Nighthawk has no title path ahead of him now, he's just got to move forward. Uh -huh. To get to the world title, though, is to be the face of the brand. Nighthawk kind of lost that title. What's that? Who's the new face of brand? Right now, that's a toss-up. It was Nighthawk as of last night. Here's a man that you could argue that about. Where the fuck the crazy D go? What? God damn, he's coming out of the walls and shit. Yeah, that's the elevator. Ah. He was on the roof. Ah. Marcus, shut up. I mean, the face of the brand right now is arguably Nighthawk. Arguably Crazy D. Nighthawk did defeat Crazy D to become the face of the brand. But that was then. Circus Maximus on the road to Ultimatum. Twelve weeks away. Right? Marcus, shut the fuck up. If I have to tell you again, you're gonna hurt. Oh. 
But then their opponent could also make that argument too. The man who says he is the face of Monday. The man who holds the briefcase for a world title shot anytime he wants it. That's Mr. Brain. That is the cerebellum assassin, the king of the first blood. Look at this man. He he's wearing the crown. He thinks he's the king. He has that rise to glory case that set that that doesn't allow anyone to argue with him. Cerebellum Assassin, anytime he wants, any opportunity that he sees, depending on how he wants to go about it, he could be bringing the world title back to, to corruption for the first time. Right. But right now, Jack Crisp is the champion. Crazy D and Cerebellum were working together, but then Crazy D reminding everybody that he has no alliance. Uh huh. And Nighthawk going going right to Crazy D now. Does that surprise me? Not at all. And Cerebellum going for Crazy D. Right. Nighthawk going for Cer. I mean, Night Cerebellum and Crazy D have worked together, but you can't trust the clown. Especially that clown. You might be able to trust the other clown. match to put himself back in the title scene. That old man does not know when to give up, does he? No, he does not. He's already had two world title shots and a TV title shot. You know he's dropping down the card. And if he's the face of Monday night, so is Monday. Right. And I know the clown doesn't care. There's an eat to meat. The clown doesn't care about any of that. What is the clown's stake in all of this, Danny, Loco? Well, the clown's stake in all of this is really weird to the clown. The clown believes he is walking in the face of this brand. He wants to be the whole damn brand. And I'm like, clown, who looks at me? He's like, pinky in the brain, 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 brain. Like, like, yes. Right. 
Jackson. Why does the clown care now? Well, I don't think he really cares. I just think he's trying to make an ass of him. Cerebellum not breaking up the submission hold there just knocks the ref out. Right? Oh, Nighthawk with a nice flapjack to across the rope. Watch how you see the refs, they're real special. Ballum with some stank on that bulldog. Ooh, Nighthawk catching Cerebellum. Nighthawk with a win over Cerebellum. Damn. The sad part about this is Nighthawk, yet again, one of the best people, one of the best competitors on this brand, fighting through the odds, fighting through the ranks, but he can't get it done in the big match. Maybe he's over the hill. Maybe... Maybe Nighthawk, as tough as he is, he's getting old. He's middle-aged now. Maybe he just can't win the big one anymore. Maybe the world title's just... Maybe any title's too much. Well, only time will tell. But this is a huge win here tonight for Nighthawk. There was nothing on the line other than Nighthawk will continue to be the face of this brand. Right. But I honestly feel like the clown and Cerebellum aren't done with this discussion. No, they're not. But next up is our main event. All right. Ricky Mass will be facing Cactus Jack as his random opponent, and it will be in well, loco lockdown. Man. Talk about trapping in, people. It's going to be one of those. Local lockdown is a two out of three matches, ain't it? Yeah, it is. Yeah, so strap on in, people. This is about to get bumpy ride. About to head over to the concession and get me a beer. You go get you a beer and somebody get that damn clown over here. Right. It's been a while since I've been on commentary with Crazy D. I need a little bit more un I need a little bit more insane conversation. Fuck off, Cerebellum. I ain't got nothing to say to a loser. So, Crazy D. Do we have Crazy D? But we do have Cactus Jack, another nutcase. You know, we gotta go for Crazy D to this nutcase. He didn't last long in the rumble. I knocked his ass out early too. I entered myself in at number one. Cactus 
Cactus Jack goes for getting knocked over the top rope by me to being in this match. You there, you there, Loco slash Crazy D? Yes, I'm Well, oh, that's, my beard. that's my that's my riding gear. Like that one push so I said. Well, you're just in time. We see one nutcase to another. But tonight, the abandoned champion after twenty four hours ago being in the Mount Vesuvius Rumble, as did Cactus Jack. This man had to go toe to toe with Leviathan. He was one of the many victims of Leviathan. Right? Why is that damn local only thing like here? Give me a full fucking bug while I set up. Crazy D. Yeah. Why the fuck do you want to be the face of the brand? You don't care about that shit normally. Uh, no, it's not really. I want to be the face of the brand. I still want to be the ass of the brand. Oh, you want to be the back end, not the front end. Yeah. So you want a human centipede, this bitch? Something like that. Well, what's your opinion of this match while you're out here? Get it from the professor. Well, I guess there's a lot of people smack each other around in my own created match. Why the hell not? And it's suspended by with a title? Ooh, look, that's shiny. Are you thinking about abandoned title? I'm thinking about whatever I can snatch your grand. Like that that uh 7 Eleven down the street, honey what? Yeah, I, 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 I heard there was a, a, a dude there with no neck talking yeah. about losing his world title at a pay-per-view last night. <laughs> right? Cactus Jack versus Big Rick Savage. You gotta think, Ricky Savage not happy about winning that, that rumble. Throwing Cactus Jack around like a rag doll. Yep. What's the ceiling on this match? Uh, the ceiling was well, basically some used tampons. Oh, wait. Whatever the hell Ricky Mass is supposed to be doing, and I think he's doing it. Right? Savage spins away. the referee got in his way. I, I don't blame him there. I would hit the ref too. Right. Now, do you think Jackson Jack can get off more than you Well, that's a lot of man to chew. Cactus Jack's a big boy, but I think Cactus Jack is going for a spin that he didn't want to be on the other end of. Mass looking for that savage elbow. Cactus Jack countered a big splash by Ricky. Right. Ricky with a scoop slam. That's not going to be enough to finish Cactus Jack. Picking 
no veteran move. Ooh, nice for a knife. Right? Now the Savage Spin. Mass Spin. Uh -huh. And again, Cactus Jack. Got that one. Mass, this power now. Right. Cactus Jack about to get dropped. Spin, but it wasn't enough. Ricky Mass able to make it through another Sloco lockdown. Man, what is going to be the whole thing? Nothing seems to be able to hold this monster as he continues to represent that new abandoned championship. Right? Now that's 12 weeks away from the next massive pay-per-view, right? Mm-hmm. Only time will tell what's going to happen. In four weeks, we have the stop of No Holds Barred, which is open fight night, settle them feuds, whatever. Right. The only guaranteed matches are the ones that the, uh, are the titles on the line. Right. Well, my drunk ass driver is uh, being hauled away by the cops. Oh, wait, I'm the drunk ass driver. That's local. Why are they going to be taken by the cops? Loco, get your ass back in the car. Get look, the truck. I, I told you. Look, I told you. You don't leave the Chinese opium in the back seat, you put them <laughs> under the back seat. Right. But other than that, folks, thank you for tuning in. Uh, we appreciate it, as always. Thank you, and I hope you enjoyed the st show, Danny. Anything you want to say, Crazy D? Oh, uh, make sure I got more beer in the back of the trunk because uh, I don't drink that light shit. And uh, y'all have fun. Stay golden. Jack, yeah. Cri Jack Crisp sure is. Peace, everybody. Oh man, I didn't mean to hit that button. Whatever that button was. <laughs>